Hello everyone, I am back with another tutorial. They will be starting up the 747-800. This will work for the 800F and 800I. Um, you may notice I am using Atlas Air Livery. I am doing this in commemoration of the final ever built 747-400 as it was delivered to Atlas. I don't have the that specific livery on it, but I do have Atlas. So let's get right into the cockpit here after we look at this beautiful bird from the outside and the beautiful San Diego scenery. Don't mind the trees over there. They are... I have to turn my trees down. But yeah, this is one of the... Uh, the last one I think was 863. Not sure. But anyway, let's get right into the cockpit. First thing you want to do is go over here. Ground power unit on. An overhead panel, go external, external, battery, utility, and then stand by and start your APU. Now as your APU turns on, you may notice my frames are a little bit low, do not mind that. You want to go IRS to NAV, and then you go down here to your FMC, also that is your APU starting right there. As you go to your FMC, Let's move the speed brake, speed brake, speed brake back. It will be four on your keyboard, or if you have another keybind, um, you will go to pause initialization. And we are at San Diego today, so Kilo Sierra. Don't know why I butchered that. Alpha November. Then reference airport and copy and paste. Copy that by just clicking on it. Then route. We're gonna do. Uh, let's go. Uh, well, don't worry about your route, but let's say we're going to Phoenix, okay, PHX, um, and we need GTI 369, because Giants is Atlas. Anyway, and then activate. Execute. I know I did something wrong there, probably, but probably not. Anyway, now your APU should be on. It should automatically switch. Yes, it did. So now you can go... All your fuel tanks on, at least that's what I do, with crossfeed, just like this. You go over here, GPU gone. Now one cool feature about the 747-800, you can start multiple engines at once. So let's say I, I can start uh, 1 and 4 or 2 and 3 at the same time with packs on. So let's turn on our APU here. We're going to leave packs off. Actually, let's do packs on. Packs reset. And now, let's say, okay, we want to start number four. I always do four, one, two, and three. I always do two and three at once. You pull this out, and that starts spinning your number four. You go over here, and you can watch it come up. Once it gets to 25, you want to bring this all the way up. Oh, mouse wheel. There. Beautiful GENXs. Love it. I love the sound of these engines. Anyway, number four is alive. So you want to go here. And we'll start number one. One is coming alive. And you can do single engine taxi in the 747. Uh, I believe 400 and 800. I believe the uh, 400 was certified for it. No, the A340 is. While you're starting your engines, you want to go switch these to auto. As long as your engine is running. One thing I did forget is you want both on, 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 on. You don't worry about this unless it's night time. Even then, I don't use it. Oops. Oh wait, no, that's testing. Never mind, I'm thinking of internal lights. Yes, be quiet. Anyway, now you can start two and three. As I said, you can do them at the same time. And IRS is going to be done in five minutes. That is the counter for IRS. Yes, it's LCR. Left, center, right. Left will be done in six, center will be done in six, and right will be done in five. Now you hear... Three and four, or the two and three starting. 
and you click and click. Nice. And that's how simple it is for the 747. Um, of course, you have to wait for INS and everything, but, you know, we could do all this, I guess, but I'm not going to talk to you guys all through that. I'll do that in another video. Um, just remove chalks, and you can taxi once your INS is done. Do not taxi before your INS is done, though. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, thank you all for stopping by. Well, thank you all for enjoying my content. I hope this all helps you guys out. And, uh, yeah. See you guys in the next video. I will cut that loud part out.